so here's a question that you might have for your vet. My pet is getting older. Does he or she need special care? Or what are some of the things that I need to do so I'm a better mom? Veterinarian Dr. Christian Broadhurst is from Clay County Humane Society. He's joining us now with Kimbo, who it was interesting because you always hear like what an, add seven years to your pet's age, but you said it really depends on what type of animal you have. It does. I mean, a certainly, breed. exactly. A nice middle-sized um, dog like Kimbo, mm -hmm. you know, eight years old, seven, eight, that's pretty geriatric. Yeah. A Chihuahua, they're just getting started because yeah, they'll live a very long time. And you said like Great Dane. And, and Great Dane's the opposite. Okay. You know, an eight-year-old Great Dane is extremely old. Is it size that has to do it with it? It tends to be size, okay. yes. so little dogs will mm -hmm. live a little longer. Absolutely. Okay, interesting. Okay, it, so like, it's interesting. This, this guy, he's got a lot of gray hair, but that he doesn't does. mean that he's... You know, you said he's getting there. Yeah, he's getting there, but he has all, he was prematurely gray. So I was right. like, you will do perfectly today. <laughs> he's a good look. He, <laughs> he is a good, mold. very distinguished. Yeah. So you said older pets can really face a variety of, of health issues. Absolutely. Yeah. Just like humans, older pets will face kidney problems, cancer, heart disease, all the same things that we fight, your dogs fight. Although, unfortunately for us, sometimes they don't tell us. Right. So, you know, continued veterinary care is especially important uh, at this stage in their lives. And, and I think, you know, I've done stories on this before, and they say with, with it comes to your animals, it's about quality of life versus necessarily quantity. So if Absolutely. they're happy and they're comfortable, Absolutely. you know, let's just support that. Absolutely. And that tends to be the way we deal with cancer in dogs. We yeah. don't do chemotherapy typically the way that humans get chemotherapy. We do chemotherapy to control their suffering and control the cancer, but not necessarily cure them. Right. So when they get to be a certain age, are there certain things we should be like looking for? Absolutely. Look for changes in appetite. Look for changes in thirst and urination. Um, increased thirst and urination can indicate kidney disease, diabetes, any number of things. Decrease in appetite with our dogs and cats is, is almost certainly a sign of something not being right. And it may be minor, but it may be serious. All right. And then I see, you know, if they're confusing, barking, meowing a lot. That usually means they're trying to tell you something. It's true. And, but also with another thing we see with our senior dogs is dementia. And oh. dementia absolutely can happen. Dogs will go to the wrong side of the door yeah. or bark in the middle of the night, you know. Kind of, kind of the doggy version of Alzheimer's, and it's, it's. There's not much we can do about I was it. But say, it's, if that happens, you just need to kind of like make sure they're safe. It, make sure they're safe. Make sure they're. Oh, good boy. <laughs> um, it's like I'm tired. There he goes. He's down. Make sure their world is very, you yeah. know, comfortable and safe for him, and just again, quality of life. Just yeah. maintain oh, their quality of life. My husband Tark, he had a cat for many, many years, and just passed away. And it was, it happens so fast. It can. So you said it's different when it comes necessarily to a cat and a dog. Cats typically will kind of hang in there, and then they'll. Yeah, gone. cats like to hide what's wrong with them yeah. until they literally can't hide it anymore. So dogs, they'll tell you they're sick, they're feeling bad, yeah. you know. Cats are like, nope, I'm okay. I'm okay, okay. yeah. It, well, actually, I'm not okay. I know, <laughs> I know. It was so sad. It happened like that. But all right, well, we're going to make sure we take care of you, Kimbo. You, you just hang out here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you good boy right. with no manners. <laughs> I know. Like, leave me alone. All right, thank you so much. Vic, over Thanks to you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>